Yes, the glory of this spectacular combination would leave me speechless as well. Were I not so excited to create more memes with Hungry One? Oh my god, she's falling for me guys, she's falling for me. Oh yeah, we got this, we got this. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Hungry One and welcome back. Today we are going to discover what is Monster Brom. Together. I was recommended this game some time ago and when it was on sale on Steam I bought it. It said idly until now. Mind you, I've only checked if my machine could run the game a few years back so I have very, very little idea what this game is about. Before we actually start, let's look at our options. Right. I see, so we got music, sound effects, voice... Hmm... Well, in terms of options, we got very little options. Well, I'm not sure what I should expect. I will be enjoying a cup of coffee with a chocolate bar during the gameplay. You should definitely grab something to eat or drink as it will make the experience even more enjoyable. I know it sounds impossible, preposterous even, but it's true, try it. Now sit back, relax and enjoy your snack while we discover Monster Brom. Mm. What should we go for? Voice interjections. Well, I will be playing alone, so yeah, let's enjoy some voice effects. Uh, yeah, I don't have any friends yet. So, one person, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, I feel like 30 minutes should be fine. Uh, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. Uh -huh. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Oh, Nito, I can be... What is this guy? Some sort of ghost? A fire lady? Uh, some zombie? Or... Hmm, I don't know what this is. Some sort of abomination? Hmm. I feel like playing as a zombie, yes. Name, pronoun, he. Oh, uh, yes, but can I change the name? Custom name, okay, let's go with... Uh, no, it's too sh short, long. Long is the word I was looking for, too long. Okay, let's go with this then. Pronoun he. I am a he. I wanna be a he. Alright! Sounds good! Uh. And we have yet to experience its ultimate challenge. The monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Huzzah! Ooh! Okay, princess! Miranda, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. <sighs> yes, I have a crush now. <laughs> Damien Lavé, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. Uh, Alright, seems cool. <laughs> and Scott, a werewolf at least. Scott Hall, huh? who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. No, oh, seems adorable. Lion the Lion Court, a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that we he was truly a lovable dork. Yay! Uh, Polygeist? Ah, uh, poly Polygeist. Clever. Clever, very clever. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. What? And Vera 
Oberlin. Oberlin. Oberlin? I'm sorry, this is uh, just a weird name. Oberlin. I cannot. Hmm. I, I cannot get across that. Oberlin. Why Oberlin? Anyway, let's move on. A means of made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear, it had to be one of them. But who? I want the genocidal maniac. I'm already set. We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Yeah, I'm ready to start, so... Ah, oh, good, we're actually starting. Stupidest pop quiz ever. Woo! All minds were rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more, we are now using our PhD in bullshit <laughs> to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Oh, goody! Monster Prom stupidest pop quiz ever will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. Mm -hmm. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Right, 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 right. The coolest rally to show would be... Uh, Entry people fight in weekly challenges. Nah. People in positions of power must face shots. Uh, this is, nah. 12 experts. Seduction. Um, do I have to choose? I don't like to choose any of these. Seducing a potato into a marriage. Uh, what? Sort of questions are to their field, and if they fail, they lose their jobs and society wins. Ah, that sounds fun. Okay, you built a 100 feet statue commemorating an event so that in 1000 years archaeologists can learn something about the people of your time. Right. Um, mind blowing twist in your favorite TV show? Nah. The glorious instant when your friend stopped you from texting embarrassing stuff to your ex while hella drunk? Hmm, sounds more like me. Your least favorite political figure being devoured by rabbit. Ah, oh, this is this is cool. Which are also covered in badass statues. Oh yes, badass statues. Yeah, that sounds hella cool. Hmm. What would be a deal breaker for a potential lover? Huh. Person is a coward, person is boring, person lacks taste, person is mediocre, person has the outdoors, person lacks manners. Oh, what should we... Personally, I don't like cowards that much, so... Probably this one, but manners are also bad. Like if you insult a waiter, just like a no-no, like a big no-no. I am gonna go with manners. Ooh, did I get a princess? Did I get a princess? Come on, tell me, what do I get? Um, sure. Oh, it's my turn. Yay! What do I do? What what do I do? Um I can go to auditorium class, library, outdoors, gym, or bathroom. Huh, okay. M week one morning. Oh, these are my stats. I'm not charming. Alright. But I'm hella smart. And I'm hella bold. Cool. And my fan factory is also up there. Uh, well, more like mediocre, but hey, it's enough, it's enough. Ah, uh, we can upgrade our stats, I guess. Maybe. Well, let's go to the gym. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. 
Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit, leading to a spectro spectacular comeback. I cannot talk. Huh. Interesting. You're clearly a natural born leader. Oh, yeah, that I am. Two charm! Yay! My wicked stat got upgraded. Cool. You see, Liam talking to Miranda. Miranda looks confused, and Liam looks frustrated. Uh oh. But I simply do not understand this art you're describing. You said that the art piece is a bathroom? No, 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 no. For the hundredth time, the art piece is the experience of going into a bathroom, thinking it's an art piece. Uh, you, sir, confuse me. The artist purposefully gave the room number of the bathroom as the room number for the exhibit. Even though there was a whole room full of his paintings elsewhere in the building, it was revolutionary. <laughs> It certainly seems very complicated. Yeah, it, it, it does, doesn't it? Maybe I'm kind of dumb. But hey, personally, I prefer the exoplanet. What? I'm not... I'm not even gonna pretend I can read that, sorry guys. You know the man in the moon, the face on Mars, all of Pluto on... Art of such grand scale! Oh shit, I forgot who I am. So but it's not art, that's populism at its worst. Well, I don't think that bathroom businesses sound like art. But who are we supposed to discuss art if we can't even agree on what it is? Oh, if only someone would come along and provide a satisfying definition of art. Oh, well, that's me. Hey guys, I'm here. You've got this, no problem. It's so simple. Um, I want to get the chick. How do I get the chick? Art is a method of making worthless things into very expensive things. Art isn't art unless it makes you feel bad feelings inside. Um, I'm going. I feel like this is the right answer. So, uh, fingers crossed. How oh yeah, got it. Oh, how true. Mars was just a bunch of sparsely populated red rock before uh, Giblet Grinston completed his masterpiece. After that, he was able to sell it into the. Uh, Ar. Ar. Oh, God damn it. Why words? Why? Okay, let me try that. Arcturans for a trillion doubloons. Uh, the Martians weren't happy about it, but you know, what they say. Sometimes we must suffer for other people's art. Yeah, true, true. That last bit is the only part of what you're saying that I agree with. Uh -huh. So that's what happened to life on Mars. You gained some new knowledge about the solar system and also plus two smarts and plus one charm. Oh my god, my smartness is through the roof. 11 smart. Wow. It's like really a lot. No, uh, huh? Sure. Ooh, I can sit anywhere, really. It's nice, it's nice. Who do I sit with? Uh, can I sit with the princess? My boldness is seven, so why the hell not? Alright, I'm trying to comprehend your request. What is there to comprehend? It's really simple, Miranda. Take my cell phone, snap a pic of me face, planting in my food with my eyes closed and tongue out. But where for? Right here, Miranda. You are about to point out that wherefore means why, but luckily Polly elaborates on her own so you don't have to look like a fucking know-it-all. It's a new meme, Miranda. Like pranking or tabbing. It's called food poisoning. Okay, interesting, interesting. And it's dope AF. Don't you have cool trends in your kingdom? Hmm, I suppose we do. No, oh, we have a fun trend called Revere Your Rulers. It's where you show nothing but the utmost devotion for the royal family. If 
if you're good at it, you get a lot of likes on social media. And also, not execute it. Ooh, I like her even more, this sounds so much fun. Do you ever listen to yourself when you speak? I bet you know some pretty cool trends, don't you? Hungry man? Oof! Um, I bet I do. Um, well, I surely do. It's entitled Silverware Wear, and it's where you take your most expensive cutlery and dress it in a very fancy tiny outfits. Yep, it's called Zion. Um, this thing. And that's a bingo! Really? How have I not heard of this trend before? I don't know. I'm pretty creative. Beautiful silverware and fancy dresses are two of my biggest passions. This trend sounds like it was invented for me. Um, it may have been by you on the spot, but there's no need to go into that. Well, it's true. I did that. I did all of that and went beyond. Hmm. What's your favorite meme? Spiked salad forks in velvet evening gowns. Seahorse. What? Seahorse steak. God damn it. This game is gonna be the end of me. I thought it was gonna be fun, not make fun of my English and ability to read. Fuck. Seahorse steak nice in. Furry skirts? These bones in tea dresses! That sounds hella fun, actually. Ugh, this trend is. Uh, uh, no words. Yes, the glory of this spectacular combination would leave me speechless as well. Were I not so excited to create more memes with Hungry One? Oh my god, she's falling for me, guys, she's falling for me. Oh yeah, we got this, we got this. We'll have to meet up soon, bring all your most exquisite chopsticks, I shall bring doll clothes in which to dress them. <gasps> this is a date, this is, guys, this is a date, it's gonna be a date. Yeah, totally, hang out with Miranda sounds amazing, it will be amazing. Um, guess it's time to go out and try to find some exquisite chopsticks. Yeah, it is, it is. Alright, alright, what do we got? Um, sure. What do we got? What should we do? Hmm. Hmm. I have no idea what to do. Go to evening class, maybe? My creativity is low. What? Hmm, maybe this signifies there is a special event? Okay, let's go outdoors. Hey, stranger. I'll go to my shop, buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats, shit that will lead you into stupid new adventures, even some shit that might be bunch much needed at some very specific moment. So, take a look. Okay. Do you have any exquisite chopsticks? What is, what is, what is this? A tampon used by the former prom queen. Okay. I I did not expect this to be a thing, but apparently it is. Oh, I'm okay. I'm I'm, I'm no. I'm not gonna read the description. No, no. A corpse! Yeah, I'm selling a corpse. It's like some kind of fashion accessory? It is not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. Um, it sounds like you're trying to exp like dispose of it. Really? It is? I'm sorry. But, <clears throat> okay. A blanket with two holes. Literally just a white blanket with two eye holes in it. You would have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost costume, but most of our classmates are idiots. <sighs> okay, if you say it like that. Fake badass tattoo. This. Oh, oh okay, badass tattoo. Some practically had kind of funny glasses. Now they aren't, but they are. 
They used to be cool, but they aren't. They're still fun in their own twisted way. Motivational poster. I want to impress the princess. How do I do that? See, I'm wise enough to know when a gift needs giving. Is that some sort of twisted um, joke? Like a reference on a certain song? The thingy in a box? Um, nah. Lyubov is smirt. A Russian novel of it and insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. Right, um... I'm kind of struggling with to buy. Maybe I don't buy, I have to buy anything. How do sexy seven? The sexy fake Latin accent. Why? The hottest thing in this beautiful. So, but Latin accent is a close second. Well, I'm see gonna buy this. Because it's an event thing. I want to see what it does. Mm. Okay. So. I just went to a shop and that's it. Uh, Alright. I guess. Mm. I want to. Upgrade my creativity. How do I do that? Maybe I don't have to do that. Hmm. But how do I know where the chick is? <sighs> the day you spend some time on the library PCs playing some good old online poker. Uh huh. Gambling seems like a stupid and dangerous decision, but who cares? This time it paid off. So fuck. It. You gain two money, only two money. Only two money. Okay. You spot Miranda and Scott in the vicinity. It seems like the perfect opportunity to test your new blanket. Oh yeah. You wear it as if you were a goofy ghost and approach them with a spooky boo. While Miranda is explaining something to Scott. And that's why those treacherous air people are the absolute worst and also most likely tied to the disappearance of Mars Argo. Mm. Oh, what's this? A ghost? Perhaps a foreign exchange student? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, I didn't see you there. So ghostly. They are an idiot. They're an idiot? Maybe I am the idiot. Shit. You guys are joking, right? This is certainly just the hungry one wearing a blanket with eye holes cut in it. Jealousy is a powerful drug, Liam. Do not become addicted. Uh, I just gave her another accent, it's like second one. Cool. Yeah, Liam, you don't see anyone saying, "Oh, Liam is really just hungry one wearing a blanket with eye holes cut in it." Exactly, Liam. Even despite the many times we suspected it was so. What? Ah, sorry, little ghost. We were ignoring you. That's true. Tell us, do you have any cool ghost powers? Oh yes, divulge, divulge. Um. Um, basic ghost knowledge, ghost's main power is levitating stuff, or ultimate ghost prank, haunt someone into despair. Uh, I, I'm gonna try and impress them. Impress the chick. Ah, oh, goddammit. Shit, fuck. <sighs> you spot a victim for your prank, the coven. You start running in their direction while screaming your best boo to date. What's this? Maybe it's a minion of Queen Nehelenia. Rumors say she's preparing to be the big bad of next season. Stop booing at us, it's hard enough as it is to save the world on a daily basis. We don't need people here undermining our morale. Stop booing! This guy is unbelievable! They go running looking for a place to recover from all the booing and undermining. Oh no, 
What have we done? We made them miserable by forcing our little ghost friend to harm them with it, its ghost powers. You do realize he just ran at them while booing, right? The only thing I realize is that too much ghost power in our hands has made us evil. We've got no time to lose. We need to start living lives of good deeds so we can be forgiven for this. You're right, Scott. Maybe in 10 or 20 years we can be redeemed for this moment of weakness. Um, three, triple dots. At least you've led Miranda and Scott onto a path of goodness. Nah, this has been a failure for sure. You lose two smarts and one fun. Vera leaves you alone for a romantic lunch with Miranda, you can't hang out too long though, you've got to stop those napkins before they take over the world. Sweet!